This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Everybody, welcome to Boah, Boah King of the Hill Boah. podcast. I'm Mike, and uh, I'm broken, rusty. You are broken, rusty <laughs> on this uh, on this Father's, Father's Day, Day episode 2024. Yeah. yeah. So tell us the, uh, the story. Th- this is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna talk about dads. Yeah, we're gonna talk about dads, uh, and I have specifically a Hank. Yeah. yeah. So you you've got two kids, right? <laughs> yep. I have two and three steps. Okay. Um, we've got five grandkids. So I mean, we've yeah, I've got gone. A, a, a gaggle of geese. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got a gaggle of geese. Old so, gander. tell us about your arm. How did that happen? Uh, I was stepping off of. If you a, can't see him, it's in a sling. It's yeah. wrapped up. I mean, it's a it's, it's a full on cast. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there we yeah. go. It's uh, I had stepped off of a curb, mm. not a curb, kind of like a it was like a three foot loading dock curb thing. It wasn't a curb. And it was a uh, man's head, but <laughs> yeah. same thing. I had tripped over the dolly that I was working with. Yeah. And uh, got wrapped up in it and fell. And when I fell, I fell really hard to the ground. And I put my arm out. And uh, I ended up breaking the radial head is what it's called. It's where the radius meets your elbow. elbow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's in the the, the, the bone, but it's at the very end. Did you come down on the sidewalk with your elbow? My hand like that. Oh, you were pushing it out. See, that's how I did mine. So the radial head broke. That's how I did mine. I was... I I was uh, surfing on a truck as a guy yeah, was yeah, doing yeah. donuts, you know, and I came off and I caught myself like this and shattered the wrist. Shattered the, the wrist, yeah. yeah. So what mine was is uh, it was probably because I landed on both hands that I didn't mm. break my wrist. There you go, yeah. But uh, he said it was also probably because of the way I landed with my leg and everything in the mm-hmm. dolly. Mm-hmm. He said I probably would have broke both arms. Yeah. So he said it was uh, the way I fell happened to be uh Thank God you didn't better break both than, of them. I can't uh, even imagine yeah, that. Yeah, but both broken, yeah, that would have been. You'd have to start learning to paint with your toes. <sighs> that would have been terrible. Yeah. yeah. No, I managed to finish my shift, and I didn't even know because I didn't know it was broke. Really? It was just hurting, huh? Yeah, it was just hurting like huh. hell. So I was like, well, this hurts really bad. <laughs> uh, well. I got home, and I soaked in the tub like – just laid there and soaked in some Epsom salt and yeah. hot as I could get it, you know, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to help my arm. Yeah. Cause I thought at first it was just like a muscle twinge. Right. So I just tried to soak and, you know, put ice on it and then put mm-hmm. some, uh, Bengay on it, you know, and, sure, sure. uh, none of that. It didn't do much when there's a bone the floating around in there. Yeah. Yeah. So the pain was just immense. So I'm like laying there and I wake up or I don't wake up. Sorry. I'm just laying there trying to go to sleep. Right. Sure. And uh, I get up about 2 a.m. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the ER. We're going yeah. to have to see what this yeah. is because this is something more than yeah, I don't blame you. more than what. But so, yeah, uh, the result was a cracked radial head. I uh, I had an MRI on my brain this last week. Is it OK? Uh, it's still, still there. there. Okay. Still there. Yeah. I have some uh, uh, I've had some little TIAs, which means trans ischemia attacks, I believe. Yeah, um, they're like precursors for strokes, and I don't, oh, that's not I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I'm glad I caught it when I did. My yeah. My mother uh, had a huge stroke about 14, 15 years ago, and she's paralyzed and in a wheelchair and stuff. And I do not want to see that happen to me. Yeah, no, I don't want to see that happen to you. So yeah. the uh, strokes are kind of rough. That's what happened to Randy Travis. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, arteries here in your neck. Mm-hmm. Those are what filled up for her, and they were they were so stopped oh, up wow. that she had the stroke. Right? Yeah, because. When the when you take your thumb off the hose, it just you know and causes yeah. a stroke. So I had that checked out. Those are all clean. Uh, and then they did the brain thing, which is the weirdest thing. You got to put your head in a cage and 
Uh, they gave me headphones with some really crappy music on it, and it, it cut off about halfway through. So then it's just boom, 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 boom. You know, that thing that you hear in an oh, MRI yeah, machine. Yeah, the, the, the magnets but spinning we, or whatever. you got it done, and I'm glad I did. Um, talk, Everything looked good, though? Yeah, I talked yeah. to the doctor. She gave me a couple new meds to take. And, um, you know, basically, let me let me just say this to everybody listening. If, if you have a history of stroke or anything in your family, um, start taking baby aspirin every day. Just take one a day. It'll keep those clots from forming. Oh, okay. And uh, clots are generally what cause strokes. So yeah, didn't mean to get so serious, but that's no, what that no, is. no. Yeah. It's it's Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it is Father's Day. Um, my youngest daughter is twenty five. Okay. Um, the oldest of our kids uh, is thirty. So you know they're all grown out yeah. of the house. They've got kids of their own and stuff yeah. like that. My my daughter, who just texted me a little while ago, uh, said. Uh, She's supposed to have been out at Orca Island or something like that. She lives up in the Pacific Northwest, and they were going camping this weekend. Uh, and, and as a good dad, you know, as soon as she told me she was going to this island, I said, well, you know, those whales have it in for humans, number one. <laughs> and number two, watch out for bears. And she responded with, ah, bears. crap, I hadn't thought about bears. So yep. <laughs> you, you got to think about bears. Oh, you always have to. I think yeah. about bears five times a day. Yeah, I think about bears more than I probably should. What about your kids? Tell us a little bit uh, without giving away too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, two boys. Uh, yeah. Third boy uh, yeah. cooking. On the way. Uh, Congrats. They are age ranges from not born to 13. <laughs> from not born. Yeah, to 13. So how's I got the, a 13-year-old boy. How old's the youngest? Two? Uh, two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah my th- I got a 13-year-old boy uh, Well, then those two, well. those two, the one that's not born yet and the two-year-old, they'll get along great. You know, yeah, at least yeah, they'll have they'll, somebody they'll to play with. Well, even, kind of even uh, the older one, the 13-year-old and, mm. the, and the two-year-old, he... Uh, they get, a, I mean, he gets, a, they, yeah. they, they're stuck like glue. You know, the, oh, the cool. little one is, that's good. Bubba, 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 bubba. Yeah, sure. So sure. he does really good with them. I know that the age gap is more like a, more like an aunt, more like an uncle yeah. situation than yeah. it is a brother situation. But that's a good thing. They'll always, yeah. they'll always have a, a somebody okay. older yeah. to look up to. My son is, uh, I couldn't ask for a better kid. You know, he's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, really, really like emotionally intelligent. He's yeah. smart. He, yeah. you know, he, he picks up on, uh, he, he can read a room. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's a big thing uh, for teenagers. Yeah. Cause when I was a teenager, I could never read a room no. and I was no. always trying to make the room laugh and mm-hmm. try to be funny. And sometimes, yeah. Uh, funny can be offensive and well, funny can not be taken funny. the wrong way. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, what's yeah, funny yeah. to you may not be funny, be funny to, to the others. Next guy, yeah. So, you know, he's he's a good he's a good kid. That's he, good. he likes Roblox. Yeah. Uh, he plays Roblox some. Uh, yeah. Plays a little Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, does all the do a little Rust, the game called Rust. Well, we've got uh, we've got kids that are pretty successful. Um, one of them just had a baby. Uh, actually, two of them. Yeah, just had, yeah no, three of them. You've just been had having a baby. babies left and right. Yeah, yeah, three of them just had babies. I think you've so had three babies since we started the podcast. Probably right? so. Yeah, I yeah. think that's what it is. Because yeah. there was there was one early on, and then uh-huh. about halfway one, into me and you doing three, this, there was yeah. one, and then there was just and then one there was recently. Just one right? recently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, wow. Um, we're filling up the house um, as fast as we can. The, the nice yeah. thing is, I, I love the fact that they live somewhere else. Do they call so you Papa nice. or Grandpa? It's, it's or Gramps. Gramps. Yeah, Gramps and Gramps. Gigi. And Gigi. Is my wife's okay. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gramps and Gigi. My uh, my parents are Nanny and Pap. Oh yeah. Yeah. I always called my grandparents uh, Granny and Gangan. Granny and Gangan. Yeah, and uh, it's because when I was little, I, I couldn't say grandfather; I said yeah. Gangan. So mine was uh, Nana. Yeah. Uh, my other one which was is just all I really had was Nana. I, I didn't know my other grandfather because he died before I was born. But yeah. my my other grandmother, super prim, proper lady, uh, taught me to sit up straight, which I didn't do. Yeah. And you know manners and all that stuff, and you hate it as a kid. But as you get older, you're like, oh shit, she was the one really looking out for me. You yeah. Know, yeah she yeah. wanted things to go well, but she. Uh, she was just grandmother. I mean, that was just, you know, it was always grandmother. Yeah. Well, I know we picked uh, Hank to, uh, yeah. but before we highlight Hank, I kind of want to tip my hat to Dale Gribble. Oh, yeah? As a father. Okay. Uh, you know, he, he, he struggles. It's rough for him. He he's not struggle. always, he's not always. <laughs> it's generally uh, self, self-motivated self yeah, struggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't always make the best decisions or nothing like that, no. but, uh. Who does as a father, right? That's true. So that's true. I feel like he's his do unconditional. Uh, that's that's with Dale. I feel that's like it, Dale does his best. He's present. Yeah. And he would die for Joseph. Sure. You know, sure. that's how I feel about it. I feel I feel like his his credit as a father uh, really has to be tipped off. You know, tip the hat to him because he knows. 
That's oh, not yeah. his kid. He yeah, knows yeah, that's yeah. he knows that's John Redcorn's son, but he still would, continues to raise him as his own. I would sure think so. Um, I think so. Whether he, whether he wants to say it or not, I I'm going to stand by the fact that I think that he knows, but he doesn't care because yeah. that's his son. Yeah. So well, I tip my hat to and him also too. he's in a situation where um, his wife basically takes care of everything, and yeah. Dale just kind of does <laughs> his thing, and so he knows that that situation is. He's not going to be able to get that anywhere else. Yeah, no, there's nowhere else that you get that. And I kind of want to tip my hat off to uh, Boomhauer and all of the children that he's probably (laughs) sired over the years. (laughs) All the children he doesn't know about. All the children he doesn't know about. uh, All of the mothers out there looking for the father of their child. It's probably Boomhauer. One or the other. Or or not. not. Yeah, Yeah, they may not want him. Uh, This kid, all he does is mumble. I don't want to know his dad. I don't have a dang old dad. (laughs) Dang old goo goo. Talking about dang old gaga. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, so what we did is we picked a thing from a site called the dad. Yeah, it was the dad.com. Which is it, it's, it's kind of a dad a, blog. Well, it's, it's kind like of an amazing page. thing where they rank dads. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, fake dads, real dads, all this kind of stuff. And this is Dad Grades Hank Hill from King of the Hill. And again, happy Father's Day to you guys. Yeah, happy Father's I, I know Day we're, to everybody we're out there. We're a day after, but still, you know, it, Father's Day doesn't get the same as Mother's Day, <laughs> really. You know, Mother's Day. It doesn't. And then you get, uh, I'm eat. not hating on single mothers, but yeah. uh, y'all got a day. This is our day. This is Father's Day, not sure. single Mother's Day. Sure. I think that's <laughs> what they need to do for single mothers and single fathers. Have a single it, parent it, day. Have a have a federally you know recognized holiday for single parents. Why don't we take Flag Day and make it that? Yeah, we could do that. You take know? Flag Day and I, I feel don't like need Flag uh, Day. I don't need I Arbor like, Day. Yeah, I don't need Arbor Day. Mm. Uh, yeah, I feel like they should. You know, uh, just just remember it's it's Father's Day. Father's Day. If your yeah. child doesn't have a father, it's not my problem. And then upcoming on Wednesday is Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Which uh, yeah. I I honestly always thought it was a regional thing, but apparently it's not. Uh, it. Uh, it it's become more than a regional thing, mm-hmm. but it is a mm-hmm. regional. It's a mm-hmm. Texas thing. Yeah, that's because what I thought. It was yeah. uh, it was when the word. Uh, well, obviously the word got here first before that. Yeah. But it was when the official government uh, announcement of uh, the free the freedom of slavery freedom of in slavery. Texas. Yeah. Because Texas was trying to drag it out a little bit longer. Texas still trying to and, drag it yeah, out. Yeah, still trying to drag it out. Uh, so they were trying to drag it out a little bit longer, and uh, the federal government was like uh, caught wind, and they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna have to come down there and uh, you know." So here's reconstruct. here's one more thing I want to ask you, and you can tell me in the in the world of King of the Hill. So, um, Hank, how Hank. would Hank react to the news that our governor wants to start or is starting a stock market in Texas? Uh, how would he react to that? Yeah. Uh, let's see. You think it'd make any difference to him at all? Uh, I don't know that he would care, honestly. But I mean, if do you he, think he's got a four hundred one k over at Strickland? Yeah, he probably does have a four hundred one k or or a. Uh, 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 something through the bank, maybe yeah. not, maybe not directly through Strickland, but my you know, dad some IRA used to have or something. something. My dad used to have something called a key man policy. Yeah, I never heard and that. so what that is is basically it's an insurance policy you take out, and if if he dies, then the money goes to my parent or my my mother mom, and yeah. all this stuff. But it was basically to insure instead of them giving him four hundred one k, what they did is they gave him an insurance policy that would mature at a certain point. Yeah, you know, yeah, which yeah. I mean, you know, uh, six of one half done with another. The four hundred one k is bottoming out. It's probably that insurance policy is better anyway. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, yeah, it'd probably work out better. So the dad dot com, uh, the way this is titled is Dad Grades Hank Hill uh, from King of the Hill. Uh, it says, in this edition of Dad Grades, we'll take a closer look at parenting skills, uh, and basically they're looking to see if Hank makes a good dad. Yeah, what, what is it? Does he cut the mustard? So yeah. I'm going to give him a grade. Before we go through this, I'm going to give him yeah, my grade, it. and I think that, that Hank gets uh, an A+. plus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know what they grade it because I try. I want to do this cold, so I didn't read it. So I would give him uh, a, before. I haven't read it either yet. Yeah, uh, all the I'm way gonna through. I'm gonna give him an A plus. I'm gonna give him an A minus. A minus. And uh, the reason I, the reason for the minus is that he doesn't always get Bobby. I got you. You know, now he's always there for him. Don't get me wrong. Always there for him, but he doesn't but always understand him. No, yeah. he doesn't understand him. Doesn't or try understand to Peggy sometimes. either sometimes. Yeah. So uh, Hank Hill embodies one particular quality that sets some fathers apart from the rest: enthusiasm for lawn upkeep. So we're talking about his strengths here. It's a big dad thing. Is that something that you, <laughs> as a dad, care too much about? Hell no. Yeah, I don't no, care at all. No, Scalp no, no. that shit. Yeah, I don't want to. Scalp that uh, shit. Uh, I want a rock uh, yard. Uh. Yeah. He uh, it does have a little a picture here that says, "Why would anyone do drugs when they, they could just, could just mow a lawn?" lawn. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Well, drugs are cool too. Oh sure. 
Sure. Yeah, drugs are great. Uh, Especially it, <laughs> uh, legal pharmaceuticals for when you break your arm. It says, uh, Dad 101, uh, your lawn is a window into your home life. You don't count your actual, if you don't count your actual house windows, which there is actually go. pretty good. Uh, yeah, so the lawn is super important to him. Second thing would be uh, pr- barbecuing. Um and uh, always with the propane, you know. Uh, I love the propane. I love the propane. Now, it does say that Hank has been caught using charcoal. Now, I don't... Do you know when that happened? Well, there's a hyperlink, so I'm going to click on it and see yeah, where the hyperlink takes me. it took me to me. Reddit. Uh, oh, it was when he was dreaming. Ah, there we go. So, propane versus charcoal. Of course, we know it's always propane, but uh, it is a dad thing. You know, do we, we do debate. Po- propane charcoal propane yeah. charcoal yeah you know, we that do kind of stuff. that's you the first thing you ask if you want like uh, i'll let anybody debate that if they want but sure. you can't you cannot get flavor out of propane no there no. will there's no addition of flavor to the meat with propane yeah. and that's okay you can't get there's s- what, smoke flavored propane yeah. Yeah. yeah if i'm eating a grade a top prime steak sure i, I don't, don't want it, it filled yeah, with it. smoke yeah. and all that propane's perfect for that yeah but if i'm eating a uh, a rack of ribs or even barbecue chicken. I want to smoke any. I want a little bit of smoke in it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, you know? I'm gonna tell you a dirty little secret. Whenever I get a steak, I cook it in a frying pan. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I do is I get the frying pan super hot. Yeah, before right? you cook so it, yeah, it so it sears, sears like it. crazy. Yeah. yeah, and then you can finish it off in the oven. I don't normally because I eat mine rare. I eat mine pretty rare. So yeah. all for me it takes is that sear you're talking uh-huh. about. Yeah. I sear it yeah. two minutes, yeah. sear it another two minutes, uh-huh. and honestly, I could eat it just like that. But yeah. I'll usually let it go for about five on well, each side. Well, sometimes sometimes I'll set it up on its side so it'll get it all the way around. I also get the know, nice little crust on, yeah. the, on, on the yeah. outsides of it. See, I this really is, this to, is uh, the kind of dad talk that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I really, uh, I really think that'd be some fun live content for uh, where Just we, grilling? where me and you like sit in a backyard and oh, yeah. stream to YouTube yeah, and, right and grill that. some stuff. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I got to get a new grill, but yeah, uh, we I've could. Always, uh, I've always used propane. You've always used propane. Yeah, I've, I've always been a charcoal guy. Really, I've, uh, my uh, my barbecue career is not as extensive as yours. I'm sure. I don't really yeah. like to do anything but I've, sit down when I'm I home. built a smoker. Um, in my backyard out of cinder blocks. Oh wow, um, that's and, awesome! And used yeah, a couple of a couple of old shelves off of a shelving unit we yeah. had that are wire. Yeah, and I stripped them down and I put them in the in the middle of it. So now you can like set a chicken down in it or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's got a little drawer that you pull out oh, where wow, you put all yeah. the wood and stuff. Oh, that's awesome! And I, I poured a little cement uh, uh, pad for it in the backyard. Hadn't used it forever, but I've got uh, a but it was cool when I did. Crap ton of old bricks, mm-hmm. and I want to make a. Uh, a kiln for yeah. like bread, yeah, or uh, make a, you a pizza oven that's bread. That's what I'm talking thing. about, yeah. like a pizza oven yeah, bread that'd be kind cool. of thing like that. And it, honestly, just get you some. And again, dad talk. Uh, just get you some quick crete, you know, yeah. and uh, make your make your form with uh, four boards. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. make a simple form. Make a real quick. Form. Pour it in there, level it out a little bit, and just let it set. You know, and that's this the, that's it, the base for it. In this dirt around here, it'll kind of move. Yeah, that black dirt. You know, uh, it, before it cracks. So, yeah. and if it cracks, who cares? Who cares? You know, it's just a it's gonna pizza be, oven, right? It's gonna be a year anyway. And then if you have stuff setting on it, it's less likely to crack. So, there you go. Yeah, that's how to build a grill. That's See how to build a um, grill. So Hank, uh, yeah, he's he's big. Push on the, one if you want more grill content. <laughs> uh, okay, so here are his weaknesses. Uh, it says, make no mistake, uh, Hank is a great dad, good provider, eager to take a fatherly knee and dole out life to life advice to his boy. But the relationship with his only son, 12-year-old Bobby, is a tough one to crack. The very first episode features Hank having great difficulty saying, I yep. love you, to his son. <laughs> a side yep. effect of the relationship with his own verbally abusive dad. The father-son dynamic can be summed up by this quote, and it shows a picture of Bobby sitting there, and he says, Bobby, if you weren't my son, I'd hug you. Yep. Which is it's kind of rough. I like that one. I don't remember what episode it is in particular, but the scene is uh, uh, Hank and Bobby riding in the truck, and uh, Hank goes and says, "Well, I love you, son." He goes, "Well, hell, I love you too, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do remember. That's that. one of my favorite lines. That yeah. was fairly recently for us, I think. Potentially. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. I, I can't remember where that. I don't know. What, somebody what, will what tell What that us. episode is. Yeah. Somebody uh, will correct it. So you know, like, like I said, I think it's just shout tough. out to Artie too because I haven't heard from Artie in a while. I really? need to message him. Yeah. Well, he didn't send me any notes for this oh, week or wow. even he usually sends me a hey i don't have any notes yeah 
uh, if he doesn't send notes. But I mean, we're, we're not recording anyway for that for well, episode of content. But he right. doesn't send me notes. So. so next week, Artie, yeah, uh, if you're listening to this. And by the way, Artie sent somebody here last week. Oh, he, he sent out uh, a hit squad on us. <laughs> There's a lady that came to town, and I'm not going to give her name because I don't want to do Did that. Did she helicopter into the top of the roof and no, like no, no, all she, black? Uh, she texted infiltrate. me. She texted me and said, "Hey, I got your number from Artie." Uh, That's awesome. And uh, she works for uh, an online home magazine, and they had sent her down here to cover some of the neighborhoods. And so she came in. We talked for maybe thirty minutes or so, and then she took off. So that was kind of cool. Just that is really somebody cool. Who knows Artie? She said yeah, she met nah, him. That's cool. She said her and her husband met him uh, when they were in Hawaii. So, uh, so, so and now they're decent friends. Yeah, because it's been a long time since he's lived in Hawaii, from what I understand. Yeah. So. Yeah. But well, that's awesome. Well, Artie, man. Yeah, cool I hope you're good, dude. Artie. Hope you're good. Man. Also, uh, if Artie you go to our dad? YouTube page, is Artie a dad? no, oh, uh, okay. not that I know of. Okay. Uh, I'm not 100 percent certain, but I'm pretty yeah. sure not. Uh, also, everybody, we have got the sticker form on oh, the YouTube. Yeah. You have to go to the go YouTube get a sticker. to get it. You have to. I, I got it on YouTube on our YouTube sticker page. Sticker form on our community page. There is mm-hmm. a sticker form. There's about five or six that have already signed up for them. Keep signing up. Keep signing up. Yeah. Sticker form on the YouTube page. I'm going to post it to all the other social medias. I've been meaning to. I was going to do it Friday, but I broke my arm instead. So <laughs> I was uh, focused on that. Uh, so I've got the link and everything. I'm going to get that up for everybody. Uh, on the YouTube page, it's there. So you go go to the YouTube page. Mm-hmm. The link's there. Click on the link. It'll take you to a Google form. Put your address information in on the Google form. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll get you some stickers. We'll send a sticker. Yeah, you got it. Uh, so some. the other part about his his uh, relationship with Bobby is, you know, that boy ain't right um, quote that you hear many, many times. He does say that a lot, that boy ain't right. right. That's for sure. That's one of the uh, big famous Hank think, Hill quotes. I think that's Hank's, I think that's a Hankism for I don't understand. You know, that's, what that's it all is. that is. I don't yeah. think it's. I don't think it's anything completely negative. So for the dad, the verdict they give it is: uh, Hank Hill is worthy of any number one dad mug in Arlen, Texas. While we wish he'd be more accepting of his son's less than traditional ways, we cannot deny that he is a loving father and devoted. He shows the same adore for being a dad that he does for propane and propane accessories. And, and this is what it says in the article. And oh, holy shit, does this man love his propane and propane? <laughs> he accessories. does. He does love. His so they end up giving him a B. Uh, yeah, they gave which, him a B. That's, that's close enough. That's fair enough. Yeah. I feel like a B is yeah, fair too. Fair uh, and and I, I really don't know. I really don't know that he's not more accepting. I think I feel like he's really accepting of Bobby for yeah. the most part. Because there's a lot of conservative dads that I knew growing mm. up that not my dad, but other mm-hmm. dads that yeah. I knew that uh, half of the stuff that Bobby does. It would have caused uh, violence and anger. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and you don't ever really oh, see. Heck yeah. You don't ever really see Hank. Just get like out of his mind, no, angry no, because Bobby likes to do something you know that might be a little more feminine yeah. in, in Hank's mind. He may be fed up, but, but he's he gets not angry. Dis- he might like yeah. like I said, he he feels more like disappointed mm-hmm. or let down, but he doesn't get up into a, a well again. A he just doesn't get it. it. You know, yeah, he just yeah, doesn't yeah. get it. So yeah, yeah that's, that's he doesn't part like of the, come in the there problem. and say, "Hey, Bobby." You're, nah. you're being gay. Quit yeah, doing that. Yeah, Whatever. No, you're, that's no, gay. Or never does that's, that. that's this or that's that. No, you know, that's one thing. That that's so I, one thing so that I, Hank always um, uh, shied away from. He doesn't. He doesn't use that kind of terminology and stuff. Yeah, he doesn't use very. Uh, uh, he didn't harsh use harsh language. I, I don't. He doesn't use very offensive words or anything. I no, mean, he doesn't. And that's what. There, and that's yeah. what. That's why. That's why I have such a hard time in the forum. Any sure. forum that has to do with King of the Hill, with the uh, current rise of this far right yeah. movement and stuff. Yeah. Because they tried to, they tried to take Hank away from center and yeah. put him somewhere. Because Hank is center, I, I, I just oh, don't. Oh, he's definitely center. I, I don't yeah. think that We've to me, Hank is the times. guy. He might have voted Republican all of his life, but I just don't. I, I feel like Hank is the guy that would vote for the man, the better guy. He votes for the best person for the job. I feel like. So let's let's talk about this one real quick, and then we'll get out of here. But uh, this election coming up, who's Hank voting for? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't know on that one, and, and I, everybody Hank, wants to say Hank would he not would be vote. a Trump guy. I, and the he only reason not. why I don't think that Hank would be a Trump guy, like he he is a guy who I believe would vote red any mm-hmm. other opportunity mm-hmm. he could vote for red. But Hank is a uh, uh, 
a rhino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, maybe not yeah. a rhino. Maybe that's not right. No, he is. Not he's Republican, Republican in name only. Uh, yeah, basically. And maybe so. That, so. And that's because he feels like he's supposed to vote that way. Um, when he finds out how somebody really is, his, yeah. his, his thinking changes. So let's talk about George Bush whenever he went to shake his hand and it went limp. Yeah, his handshake well, he was, was limp, like, so oh, he, uh, shoot, he, didn't really, he didn't really believe in the guy. He didn't really believe yeah. in the guy. So you're telling me when January 6th rolled around – and uh, then Trump gets uh, brought up on these felonies and stuff that Hank wouldn't turn the other way. Yes, I think Hank would turn the other way. Hank I would think turn he the other would. way. Because a from a, from because because Hank doesn't vote uh, vote based on politics. No. People think that Hank Hank Hank's not political enough to vote based on policy and well, that kind of stuff. So so Hank votes for the best man. Who I think you think is the best man for the job. I think it's just the fact that somebody broke the law. I think Hank would automatically yeah. put that out of his yeah, out of his sure. mind. He it doesn't matter what he broke. broke it doesn't matter how no. he broke it. It doesn't no. matter any it's of that stuff. It's just a law. It. A yeah. law was broke. Yeah. You know all the semantics and stuff yeah. behind it. Yeah. Hank doesn't. I don't think Hank. Uh, I, think I don't you're think Hank deals right in that. semantics. I feel like no. Hank is a cut and dry guy. Very much it's a it's a yes or a no. I'm on this side. There is no fence. Yeah. Hank yeah. picks where he's going to go, and that's it. He doesn't sit on the fence. I think it's be so. the first year that Hank either set out or voted for a third candidate. I, that's what I think. I feel like uh, some Kinky Friedman type character or yeah. something. He would, yeah. he would he would vote for like a Ross Perot or yeah. something like that. Oh, I think he'd vote for Ross Perot in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. A lot Ross like Perot. his dad. Honestly, shout out to the Perot Museum in Dallas Fort Worth. That's oh, a yeah? really good museum. Nice place. Yeah, I don't know why I, I said just that, pictures but, of Ross Perot. Uh, well, anytime I th- well, hear Perot's name, I just think of that. The Perot Museum. Their science. Yeah. I think it's a science museum. It might just be a natural history and science museum. But either way, it's the one that's in uh, in Dallas there. Uh, okay, so today is Father's Day. We it are going to go Day. enjoy our Father's Day activities, which means we're going to sit on the couch and tell uh, nobody to, to leave us yeah, alone. I'm going to take some uh, more of the legal pharmaceuticals. There you go. I don't blame you. Melt into the couch. There, that's the way yeah. to do it. That's the way to do it. Yeah, my wife. Uh, you know, she's having surgery coming up this next Friday. And oh wow, okay. And uh, yeah, she, I know there's a uh, there's like a, a lot of activity at the there school is. right now. A lot, right? a lot of yeah, stuff. A lot of activity. But she's having surgery, and she <laughs> she had some tramadol and stuff and i was like D- i'm gonna get that filled for you she goes well i can't take it until i said listen if they'll give it to us then we need that tramadol in our house oh, wow. i said just for the yeah. hell of it you know yeah. i mean you never know you never know and uh, i mean shit i'm it, surprised it, they you would take one the other day that. if you if you yeah if your arm was hurting that bad i'm surprised probably... they gave me something stronger than tramadol they gave me hydrocodone did they, they? they prescribed yeah. me hydrocodone which yeah. is kind of uh they don't do that anymore no they really don't, they really don't. it was amazing to me that they said after her surgery they were going to give her Oxyhide, uh, Oxy, oxycodone, oxycodone, yeah. yeah. Which, okay, I mean, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they did they uh, the opiate epidemic, uh, em, 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 yeah, ob- epidemic. Yeah, you guys that got that. addicted to opiates, you really screwed it up for the rest. Screw of us. pain management yeah. up for the people who don't get yeah. hooked on pain medications. That's when exactly they're right. Hurt. Yeah. No, I won't say I don't get hooked, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go enjoy Father's Day. You do the same. Yep. Uh, even though enjoy. it's Monday, uh, we love you. We we appreciate you. Uh, go fill out that sticker form if you can. Get over to Patreon. Check us out. We've got the three dollar a month tier that yep. just helps us keep the lights on. Remember that every Monday is on Spotify for video and YouTube for video. Uh, also, uh, if uh, if you get a chance, just go and check out our YouTube page. Fill out that sticker form. Yeah, Anything sticker else? form for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll no longer. Uh, I, I probably won't do as many streams on Instagram yeah. as much anymore because we're really trying to drive the YouTube, YouTube. page, which yeah. is doing really True. good. And uh, uh, YouTube is a space that me and Mike have wanted to be in what? more than we are, and our page is doing good now. So we kind of want to start pushing as much as we can towards that. I got an email from YouTube the other day. They're now allowing posts. So they're going to become like a full featured social yeah, yeah, yeah. media. Well, that's what they have. They have point. a community type yeah. thing where yeah. I've already posted pictures and said yeah. thank you to people and stuff like that. So uh, I like YouTube. It's a place I hang out a lot anyway, watching a lot yeah, of different content. So uh, I appreciate it if you guys went over there and gave us a like, follow, subscribe. We're at like 509. Mm. Uh, at a thousand, we're going to do a limited t shirt run of probably like go. anywhere from 25 to 50 shirts, depending yep. on what the interest shows. Yep. And that shirt design, whatever we decide on, yeah. it will only run that one time. We'll, give you, we'll give you three options, and then uh, you pick one, we'll print it. Yeah, we'll give oh. three options to you guys, and then. Uh, but we need a thousand. We need a thousand subscribers. A thousand subscribers, yep. uh, 25 to 50 t shirts, depending on interest in it. And then. Uh, you know, here's what really helps us if you're away from the house. 
and you want to just turn on our YouTube page and just let it run, you can do that, that sure would help. That would help. Uh, yeah, that would help too. No problem with that. Uh, but No problem boosting them numbers up, guys. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We certainly appreciate it. Friday, we're going to play a couple of... Uh, uh, voicemails we got from you guys, and I think we've got, oh, you got some, some comments and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. cool. So we'll play hey, those. Hey, you know what? I bet we're going to start getting a lot more of those voicemails because the YouTube page, too. Somebody had asked me about uh, an AI contest, and I was like, man, that was two years ago, <laughs> dude. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that was, I was a like, long that's a, time that's ago. A, I was like, y'all got to remember now, y'all are getting a lot of the content on YouTube is uh, us uploading yeah. things that we've. Yeah didn't upload as we should have at the beginning yeah. of everything but we're learning we're it's getting caught learning. up it's getting, getting caught, caught up, up. Yep. i think it's all it's 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 officially caught up now cool. so cool. everything is there you have uh for for everything that has a video you have a video and a pure audio option yeah uh our podcast now automatically uploads all of our Every shows audio a, to yep. youtube so yep. our rss feed is uh linked into the interwebs all right guys well yeah. thank you again for joining us we really appreciate it Hope you had a great Father's Day or are going to have a great yep. Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth, and we'll see you on Friday. Yep. Happy Father's Day and a big We Matanye. We Matanye, indeed, Dad. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. <laughs>